What's going on YouTube? This is Brinzer31. I'm out here in the woods again in North Texas here in the uh, early spring summertime and uh, we're about to look at universal camouflage pattern but with a caveat to that. Obviously if you're looking at the title you're wondering hey where's the dyed UCP? Well here's the deal. Bruce is laying right behind me. You probably didn't even notice him. Bruce? So I am not a fan by any stretch of the matter of the universal camouflage pattern, the old army UCP, which is still somewhat in service but being phased out for the last year or so. Um, as you can see, I'm glowing like a Christmas tree right now. <laughs> uh, but Bruce here, Bruce actually took the time to dye this stuff. And why that's awesome is because you can get a lot of this U UCP because the army is phasing it out. You can get a lot of this US military quality surplus stuff for extremely cheap like a whole entire utility set um would you pay for yours free i mean there are there are guys <laughs> in the army right now that have this crap they're just trying to give get rid of it get it out of the closet yard sales what yeah. you know even ebay that basically you're paying for the shipping to get this stuff so right. you should not pay much if you're on a budget and i mean a, a tight budget or you just want to get in touch with your creative side well, this is an option. Guys, look at this. And we haven't even done this effectiveness video yet, but just like looking at this camouflage pattern and how it matched, how well it matches to the environment, I'm, I'm just blown away. So I'm going to turn it over to Bruce. He can talk about his, uh, his process. And I also want to mention that Bruce is going to put out a video concurrently with this video on the whole steps that he took to uh, make this. Um, so be sure to go over to his channel to watch that video. So Bruce, what do you got for us, man? Yeah, so real simply, this was my dilemma. You know, I try to kind of focus on the budget-minded stuff. We have a lot of high-end stuff, obviously. But we also, we grew up on a tight budget when we were kids. And so for some of you out there, maybe you're airsofters, maybe you're just on a tight budget and you don't have the financial means to go out and buy a new set of Gucci flage from <laughs> Pincot or Atax or whomever's out there. Uh, this is an option for you. I wanted to create an option for you guys to be able to take a, a, a uniform that people are basically throwing away because it doesn't blend in that well in parts of the country like this. And they're getting rid of it on a surplus market and yet be able to then take it and make it effective at a very minimal cost. Rit dye in apple green, I think is about four or five dollars a bottle from I, I buy mine from Joann's but you can get online and find it whatever stores nearest to you or even have it shipped directly to you one bottle will do a full set uh, a top bottoms and and hat and um yeah processes is, is about if you got an hour and a half uh free on the weekend you can do a full set uh from start to finish and be completely done so like Brent said I've got that instructional video if you want to learn how to do that on my channel in the link below um, and we'll get right into it, show you the process of how to take what Brent's got on and make it look like what I've got on. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get out there and see if this even even works. Right. What do you so, think it's going to do? Well, it's got to be better than this. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a Marine, I, I'm just cringing at the fact that I'm, I'm wearing this Army uniform, so I want to get this video over, over with as soon as possible. But I think I'm going to give this set to you so you can do that for me. I'll do this for you while you're showering after taking that right. off. How about hey, that? real quick, uh, what about gear, though? Oh, good point. Guys, this process probably is not going to work on your nylon gear. Um, the cotton in the, the, the cami uniforms takes this dye really well. I haven't experimented. You'll have to do that on your own. I know that there's a lot of this gear out there that's high quality gear in this pattern. I'm not sure this process is going to work on that gear. At least it's probably not going to work as well. You'll just have to test that on your own or maybe that's something we can do in the future. But for right now, no guarantees on that. But if you follow my instructional video, I can guarantee you'll get this with the uniform material. And you can always take a rattle can to some of this Absolutely. old surplus uh, UCP gear. So without further ado, guys, let's get to it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a comment.
All right, guys, so that concludes this camouflage effectiveness of this dyed UCP camouflage pattern. Thought it was a good touch just to have the regular UCP in there just kind of as a control measure uh, to see the difference. And like, granted, we haven't seen this video yet, but just going off the naked eye, this stuff looks pretty damn good to me. So, and dare I say, probably one of the best camouflage patterns for this particular time of the year that I've seen personally. Uh, it just blows my mind that it's UCP dyed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like an actual manufactured uh, camouflage pattern from that color. It's just something he took and, and made. Yeah, it's just blowing my mind right now. So, what you got, man? Well, I was just gonna let all the viewers know that this uh, name has now been copyrighted. It's BCP. <laughs> Bruce's camouflage pattern. Because <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with it too. Yeah. I knew it was probably the right tones. It was going to work pretty well. I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but trust me, to the naked eye out here with the yeah. sun dancing off of the leaves and all, this actually works really well. You get all the features of the ACU pattern uniform with the Velcro pockets and the zippers mm -hmm. and all the high speed stuff, the most modern stuff that we've got in the military today, but we're actually able to dive into a pattern that's serviceable at least in this environment yeah just unbelievable so anyway guys appreciate you watching if you got any comments leave them below if you got any questions pertaining to the actual uh dying process of this make sure you check out bruce's video yeah. thanks for watching guys don't forget to leave a comment